I mean, he's amazing. He started following me about one day and he just um, followed me on the bus one day, jumped on with me. He goes down the escalator, he follows me everywhere I go. And he loves it. He likes to sit there and watch the traffic out the window, as you'll see in the video. He is a very, very special cat. And, you know, maybe he's a bit of a pikey, who knows. <laughs> Bob changed my life. Yeah. Bob really did change my life, didn't you, buddy? He's um, never left my side since the day I found him. I nursed him back to health. He'd been attacked by a fox and he was hiding in my building. He came over to me and asked me for help. He had a big abscess on his leg right here that was weeping pus. So I took him to the Irish PCA, got him nursed back to health. They gave me antibiotics, which I had to pay for. After I nursed him back to health, he just never left me. Big issue please, come on guys, give it a try and help Bob and I. Big issue please, how about it guys, give it a try and help Bob and I. Goes towards our bed and breakfast strength. Big issue please, really does help. Come on guys, give it a try and help Bob and I. He clearly does want to be with me and he's very content and very happy. I mean as you can see right now, he's just happy to sit there with me. If he didn't want to be there, he's a cat, he's a wild animal. You cannot make a wild animal do anything it does not want to do. You can teach a wild animal tricks, but you cannot train a wild animal. At least once a week I'll get someone come up and say, oh that's abuse, why have you got that cat on the lead? I say, well the lead is there purely for his safety purposes, but if he didn't want to be there, he could drag the lead off if he wanted to. He's not changing at all. Bob, get down, get down. <laughs> he follows me everywhere I go. Does he not like getting dirty feet? <laughs> no, he just papers more. Cats have to sit on paper. That is... Oh. He's a very special boy. He's a stray that I rescued from a fox after I nested back to health. He never stopped following me about. Oh, I hear you. You chained him. You can't train cats. You chained, not trained. Chained? Oh, if he didn't want to be there, he wouldn't be washing himself. That's for a start. What would he do? Bite off the chain? He'd run off. Like, it wouldn't how? matter. It wouldn't matter. How? Would he just unlatch himself? <laughs> no, he'd drag until the fucking harness came off. Trust me. Right? Okay. If he didn't want to be there, there'd be nothing in the world I could do to keep him there. Come on, guys. Can I introduce you to the issue? I know a lot about cats. Yeah, well, you know that if he didn't want to be there, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't be, be there. there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He loves stopped. it. He follows me everywhere I go. He was a stray that I rescued, you see. Yeah. After I nursed him back to help him with a fox sack, he had a bad abscess on his leg, he wasn't ever left me. He followed me on the bus, followed yeah. me on the tube. So, uh, yeah, I got this harness for him, and ever since, you know, he's been my best mate for about three, four years now. The strangest thing I've ever I've been I'm oh, really, really close to cats. Because he's just so chilled out. Yeah, and with everything going on around him as well. Yeah, no, he's a special boy. Uh, what's his name? Bob. Bob. Hello, Bob. Bob. He's even a licensed vendor, see that? I don't know what I'd do without him now. If I go out without him, I feel naked, you know. If I don't have him on my shoulders, I, I kind of look around for him all the time. It just it drives me crazy when I'm not with him. Beautiful! I've got a cat myself in Manchester. But I bet he wouldn't do this, would he? No, he wouldn't, would you? Eh? Hey? Oh, he's gorgeous. He he he's my baby. He's my baby. Yeah. 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 Some people say that he was Dick Mittington and I was his cat, and now in the next life it's the other way around. And seeing the relationship we have, it wouldn't surprise me, as I believe in karma and I believe in, you know, past lives, and I believe that Bob and I actually did know each other in a past life because we are such good friends. We are best mates, aren't we, buddy, eh? Big issue. No, there's no one in there. 